You don't have to go to a farmer's market anymore to buy organic produce because most supermarkets have finally wised up and have an increasing organic presence. I still go to farmer's markets in season though because, let's face it, they're a heck of a lot more fun than a supermarket. I always put kale in my smoothies because kale is a true superfood. There are several different types of kale, but all is loaded with nutrition. I mean kale is loaded with phytonutrients, micronutrients, macronutrients, you name it, kale's got it. I'm going to snag this dinosaur leaf kale. If you want to spice up your smoothie, you can always add cilantro or something like mustard greens. I normally stick to basics on flavor. As for thicker skins, fruits and veggies, I usually don't worry about organic so much. I figure thick skin helps prevent harmful elements from entering the innards and I'll buy non-organic if organic isn't available. Man, I love these mangoes. These things are really loaded with nutrition also. You probably couldn't have found packaged organics 10 years ago, but here it is, all packaged and ready to go. Okay, here's some, here's some baby bok choy. You gotta be kidding me, I mean, this is going crazy here. I don't think that's a baby anymore. Anyway, we're gonna take some of this and use it in our green smoothie. Also, some lettuce. This is some pretty nutritious lettuce. I'm not going to put too much of that in there because it doesn't have a lot of food value compared to bok choy. That's, this stuff has a lot of calcium in it. Anyhow, I'm going to show this uh, this little system in our next Keep It Simple segment. That ought to be enjoyable, hopefully. greenhouse fan just came on but this is our uh, genera plant we're going to take several of these leaves and I'm going to tell you right now if you're not regular if you drink this green smoothie you will be trust me I generally add a protein supplement there are a lot on the market now ranging from pumpkin seed to soy but you got to be careful. I think it's wise to pick non-GMO products. GMO meaning genetically modified organism. I mean, just the name sounds scary. So do you really want to eat this stuff? The thing that amazes me is that our FDA approves of this method. And I suppose I shouldn't these days, but I find that unbelievable. But let's get back on track here. Here's the stuff I'm using. It's made from rice, pea, and soy with added spirulina. Gluten-free and non-GMO. Now how could this stuff not be good for you? Well, let's get to business now and make this smoothie. First of all, you have two dry pot products, not counting the uh, protein mix. You have flax seeds, and chia seeds. I'll explain these to you later. But I take a tablespoon of each. And we'll get those out of the way. I have a handful of washed spinach, some kale, which I will strip off, avocado, which I have frozen, kiwi, also frozen, mango, frozen, 
and the so-called baby bok choy. So in summary, we have avocado, mango, bok choy, and lettuce, which I almost forgot, kiwi, kale, spinach, and chia seeds, and flax seeds. And as I mentioned before, if you have genera or some other medicinal herb that you're taking, you can add that to your smoothie as well. And don't forget, we're going to use protein powder. And for the liquid, we're going to use uh, coconut water. And the reason I like to use coconut water is because it's a little better than water. It has potassium, uh, also uh, calcium, and magnesium. So you're getting a little bit of nutrient benefit through that as well. Plus, coconut water is excellent hydration. Chia seeds are truly remarkable. Not only do they add a gelatin effect to your smoothie, the thicker you want it, the more you add, they also provide excellent nutrition. Now, since we're only making one smoothie, we're going to use a Nutribullet, which I received as a gift, and actually it works pretty well. First, you want to grind up the, uh, the flax seeds so you can release all the good fiber, the omega-3. The, the shell keeps uh, all the nutrients enclosed. And in order to do that, you need to have a totally dry blade and, and uh, bowl so that uh, the seeds won't stick. And they'll actually grind up. So let's do that real quick. I usually use my Vitamix, especially for big jobs like several smoothies and a lot of seeds to, to grind up. But this thing actually works pretty well for what it is. I mean, it was, it's pretty inexpensive. So let's go. like it's done a pretty good job. So I'm going to pour the, the uh, ground up flaxseed back into the bowl because I want to put this just about in the center when we start uh, mixing the smoothie so it won't get stuck to the blades or stuck to the top. It's, it'll just work a little better. I've cut up the greens a little bit, make it a little easier to stuff in there. So let's put a little bit in. Then we can toss in this uh, flaxseed meal. The chia seeds. Now the chia seeds expand. Makes it actually uh, kind of like gluish, you know. Put in the uh, fruit and the avocado. Kiwi. And now we want to put in the uh, protein powder. I use about a half a scoop of protein powder. Then, of course, the hydration fluid, which is the coconut water. I just fill that up about half, about halfway. This stuff is great. Then we'll finish it off. With the greens. So now we just put the top on the blade unit and get ready to go into the motor unit. Now you can uh, put just about any kind of greens, any kind of uh, fruit you want in this thing. It's a very flexible smoothie. What, that's what makes it nice. In fact, you should vary it a little bit get different nutrients and all that so let's go ahead and do it okay let's go for it
I usually take it off and let it sit in that position for a while so that everything will drain off the blade so you won't have to scrape it. So use just a, about a minute, minute and a half. So there's a couple of minutes. Let's take off the lid. Well, most of it's off of there. So we have a nice thick smoothie consistency. Now the reason it's so thick is because of those chia seeds. These little neutral bullets come with this handy handle here. I just use the craft itself. Get a nice straw and then that's good to go and I'm gonna drink it right now.